the cover came off of our computer and I was too lazy to fix it and I didn't realize the hard drives were sticking out and guess what the kids did. They were kicking and snapped off. The bad part is the inside. You can see the plastic part that's missing on the connector there. On my other hard drive, I managed to fix it because I fished out the, the plastic piece and was able to use that. On this one, it broke when I tried to use it. So I went on to eBay and for five bucks just bought a a notebook drive but they have the same connections and I'm gonna see if I can manage to cleanly cut out that uh, the plastic part behind the SATA connector and get it installed I'll show you how it works if it works on this one I might be able to just snap it off with like some pliers or something but I don't want to take the risk of not getting a clean cut so what I'm gonna try and do is remove remove it I've never taken one of these apart before it's a T6 Torx screwdriver I got out of this nifty uh, tool set from from Amazon. So I'm just going to pull off the screws and we will see what, what happens. Oh well, that wasn't my T6 I had on. The T6 is very tiny, but it is getting them out. And here's the last one. They come out real nice. Whoops. Fell down. Who need, no, needs it? It's just a, it's just a broken drive I bought off of, off of, I guess it's eBay. But yeah, it was eBay. I got this one. I'm going to do with one hand. You just got to kind of pry it open and it should come off. It didn't want to come off. There's some kind of screw holding it on there, but who cares? Ooh, there's the disc. Wow, that's fascinating. Let's see if we can get to the, get to the plastic part. Yeah, taking that off didn't help. I couldn't really get the plastic parts off out of the way that I wanted, so... I just took a small pair of pliers and broke off the, the longer connector and I'm going to take a utility knife with a brand new sharp blade and see if I can just cut right at the base of that to get that off. Okay, well I can't, can't get too real easy so what I'm going to do is just pull this back now that I got some of that power connector out of the way, see if I can, oh yeah, there we go, get that out of the way so that I can get more easily to this part to pull it off. Okay, I got that back plastic part off, so now the uh, that little L-shaped plastic thing is exposed and I can hopefully cut it off without having to go through the metal connectors, which I don't want to cut off. It's hard to do with one hand, but I'm going to get it on this side. I just got to get the back a little better. <clears throat> okay, so there we are. It's hard to see. I wish I had a flash on. Okay, hopefully that didn't break it. Good look at it. Okay, that's we've got a little notch in it. It's fairly intact though. Hopefully it'll be be able to be used. I pulled the last of the little metal connectors out and so we'll see if we can make this work. This is what I ordered off of uh, Amazon SETA 22 pin female right angle adapter. I got two of them and they only charge shipping once. Okay, this is a little confusing. This end here, where you can can see the, the metal connectors, that's where the, the SATA cable will plug into that goes into the motherboard. This end here is where it's going to go into the hard drive. So we're going to put the little plastic piece right in there. I don't know if I can do it while I'm holding the phone. Okay, we got that there. It just pops right in there. Now the trick's going to be to putting that into the... Um, the hard drive here without um, without bending any of the any of the pins that are already a little bit not straight so I'm going to turn the camera off and see if I can make sure they're as straight as possible and just just pop that in and then we'll see how it goes hopefully it'll work I other videos show using hot glue gun and all this stuff I just it worked on the other one I just popped it in straight and it, it stayed it's been there for a few weeks let's see here I got the pins pretty much straight and let me see if I can get this in. I'm going to watch it real carefully to make sure it's not pushing any of the pins in. Oh, it's not quite going in. Goes in on the left, but not on the right. It may be okay. I'm going to try it again. I mean, it feels like it's going almost in, not going right. It doesn't quite want to push all the way in. It's in there fairly. 
Ooh, it doesn't quite go in all the way. It's in pretty tight. I'm going to try hooking it up and we'll see how it goes. Okay, here we go. Let's see the connection. Wait, there's a key backwards or not. Yeah, I had it backwards. So there it goes in. Just got to get the power connection in. Okay, you can't see your walk up the light, but there you got the power and the other one in. And we will turn it on and let's see if it's going to detect both drives. I will pause it for a sec. Let's see here. There we go. Two hard drives detected. Okay, it's booted up. Let's open up an Explorer window. And what do we got here? Drive C. That's my main hard drive. And drive D. This is my great big fat four terabyte drive. And it is there. Oh, I didn't want to lose that. Alrighty, so the best thing is if you can manage to save the... Um, the piece out. If this happens to you, if you can save that little plastic piece out intact, great. Otherwise, you know, just tearing apart a cheap $5 eBay broken drive and just very carefully removing that part and placing it into that angle connector thing worked. And just, I'm gonna, and I'm also finally gonna turn the, <laughs> the computer backwards so that the back face is where kids will have their feet and hopefully we won't have any more problems. I know it's a mess down there. Okay, hopefully this helped. Um, if any ads come up, watch them because I monetize these. Thanks.